we'll move to law and morality. We had talked about law and what law is. Law, briefly, <clears throat> is a set of rules which guide our conduct in society and it's enforceable by the state. And it's a result of the necessary relations from the nature of things. Everything has a law. The nature of relationships tend to determine the nature of the laws. So what, what uh, is morality? Morality, on the other hand, is that sense of judgment between right and wrong. By, by reference to certain standards developed by society over time. Morality relates to behavior, standards of behavior that are widely accepted. It's binding on your conscience. It may not have a basis in law, but it is that thing that you feel it, this should not have happened. Not because it's wrong in law, but you are brought up to believe that some of the things that you do may not be right. It's a standard of behavior. But morality is not enforceable by courts of law. The difference between morality and law is that law, when you break the law, you will be taken to court. But someone, in your opinion, being immoral may not be taken to a court of law. Case in point, we refer to dressing. And our view towards dressing is based on morality, is what we have been taught and brought up to believe, decency. You may have issues with someone dressing in a certain way, but have they broken the law? They have not. If we can go back in time to when a certain lady was undressed and the issue that arose is my dress, my choice. That was an, a, a, an issue of morality. You who thinks that a dress is too short or too long or too... Whichever aspect you may choose, it's not based on any law. See, there is no law that has prohibited someone from wearing a short dress. There's also no law that has prohibited someone from wearing an extremely long dress. It's based on morality. What the law prohibits is that person who harassed that lady. That is a crime. It's based on law because you wearing what you choose to wear is a freedom of expression. You are entitled to wear what you want to wear. Another person judging what you have worn is based on morality, on what the society has led us to believe is normal or what the society has ingrained in us, what we have grown up thinking or knowing is what is right so but we also remember that law incorporates a significant proportion of morality in the instance we talked about killing killing is not only a crime it's immoral and so is theft we all look down upon people who make it their business when someone snatches your phone, it's a crime. And we're also against that because you should be able to walk with your phone without fearing that if I remove my phone in this street, it's about to be grabbed. Those are the two, uh, some of the places where law and morality go hand in hand, that it is immoral to steal. It is immoral to kill. No one should have a right over someone else's life. What we were saying is law and morality at times go hand in hand. It is immoral to kill. It is immoral to steal. So in those aspects, one goes hand in hand with the other. 
we must understand that not all wrongs in society are illegal. Disrespecting, or rather the failure to provide for your parents as a, as a child, it is not illegal. It's only moral that the society expects you to take care of your aged parents. But will someone take you to court because of that? No, they can't take you to court. Same thing is when you walk and find someone who is drowning or when you walk and find someone who is hurting, nothing compels you to help that person. Only that we feel it is immoral to not help such a person. But it's not illegal. No one will take you to court because you have refused to help someone on the roadside. And unfortunately, that is life. So in that, what is the relation of law to morality? We start with the fact that there are unjust laws that prove that morality and law are not identical and they do not coincide. One of the laws is slavery. Slavery was, it was perpetuated and it was immoral, but it continued up until it was abolished. Another case in point <coughs> is that the existence of laws that serve to defend basic values, as you are saying, it's immoral to kill, it's immoral to steal. The two can work together. The difference between morality and law being that laws govern conduct through fear of punishment, when morality is internalized, it governs conduct without compulsion. What are we saying? That the virtuous person does the appropriate thing because it is the final noble thing to do not because doing it will result in punishment, that once we put it in us that we should not steal, we will not steal, not because we are just afraid of the punishment, but also because we know it's immoral to do so. Also, when enough people think that something is immoral, they will work to have a law that will forbid it and punish those that do it. This is why we need morality to work together with law. If the two are in tandem, if the two are conjoined, the probability of forming laws that will protect people and will compel people to do what is right without necessarily fearing what is wrong, will enable the laws that are made to be kept. Thank you.